I'm White No Bite, or as you like to say, Lachlan Witch No Bite. And this is a submission to your... Oh, I fixed... I broke my fence. That's... that's sad. Um, this is a submission to your Zombie Fortress 2. And I'm going to fix that fence. And I highly suggest that Jeb puts in... Where is that fence? Puts in... Nether Bricked fence gates. Because... Right now... That looks kind of dumb, and I don't like it, so I'm going to throw a hissy fit and tweet him about it later. Anyway, um, <laughs> these are just lights, if you're wondering. I got that from Danzier21. Um, the exit. This is just signs to, for notes for myself, but if you do choose to pick me and, yeah, if you do choose to pick me and we do this, this can lead to wherever the fortress entrance to this is, it can lead wherever it needs to go. Um, <clears throat> this is basically a mob killer, but in classic horror film, zombie film genres, they're technically infected with the disease. T-Virus, um, Solomon, or whatever it's called. The Solanumin virus, I think it was, but anyway. And when you kill them, you gotta burn the bodies and shoot them in the head. So I kind of combined both, and this is what I got to reveal the mechanism, which is a basically a portal of lava. And behind that is a surprise that you are going to see in a moment, but first I am going to go down here into storage, get some spawn zombie eggs. This is just for fun. There's a bunch of arrows to refill. Oh, you probably know what it is now. Dang it. <laughs> this opens the door, and also I'm going to turn on a light real quick. And this, these two stairs right here, they go down so zombies cannot get up and I am going to fly up and around actually first off I'm just going to put these down and I forgot to turn to difficulty setting that lets me do that and now I'm going to fly up here and see all them guys well, I'm going to go turn on something that will keep them from going up those stairs. Initiate water control. And that myself is going to do that. I'm going to turn the light off. To any of my viewers that are watching this on my channel, which I don't think I have that many, uh, I, I, I do usually record in um, brightness, bright, but for the sake of Zombie Fortress, I'm recording in the dark. And things will spawn down there by themselves. So, this is what I built. Commence cleansing. This is basically... Observation room. That will kill them very effectively. Any mob that goes down there. Especially Endermen, because they're allergic to water. And if you're wondering what this button does, double cleanse speed, it basically doubles the speed that they shoot. So, anyway, turn that off, commence cleansing, reveal mechanism. And then, another little thing that I've created is using Recon's light design from your last episode, or series of episodes, let me say, that that clock was amazing. Like I'm I'm okay with redstone, but that was ridiculous. And this is what I got: the ceiling lights. I use the light design from there, and I use the uh, bottom lights, which you'll see in a second. And I use the bottom lights down here as well. Oh wait, they didn't they didn't activate. I have to go fix them. Why are they not activating? Well, I'll show you the design. I think I must have messed something up. 
but basically yeah basically that's what it is so it does work but it's an easy fix and look at that there's a spider there's a spider spawning in here and I'm going to take this torch put it right there oh yeah and as you can see you can collect all the arrows you shoot it's, it's effective and if I put these here they will still spawn believe me and they still spawn in here because it is still very very dark I had these torches here before and right now I'm going to go through and do a fly around of what it looks like on the outside because I built this in a flat world and oh yeah that's world edit if you didn't know that but um, I'm gonna go out this way because this leads to the outside. This is a flat world, and this is basically the entire thing. It is a lot of redstone. It took me a while to figure out how to switch on and off pulsers to do the uh, um, to do the oh, what's it called? To switch speeds, to switch speeds of shooting. It took me a while to figure that out. And if you wonder what this is, this is just this is me having fun <laughs> with redstone. And I thought you might like this too, so I'll show you this too. This is basically just a bridge, very simple, just a bunch of uh, repeaters, and then they'll close as well. They stopped. They never. Oh wait, no, they didn't. It was just lag. Never mind. And this was my original, this is my original, um, playthrough of this. It's very, it's a lot smaller. And it was just not good at all. It was just, it, it was okay. But I like my newest design better because it simply... <laughs> And yes, this doubles it too, but it just looks better. Um, things kept spawning down here in this room, and I couldn't get it right. <laughs> Walls of fire! Yeah, they are definitely shooting fast. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I hope you liked it. Um, I definitely did. I had a fun time building it, and I hope you see this, and you're just you just go, wow. <laughs> and... Yeah, hopefully you like it because he came in because I left the gate open. Oh, look at that. There's a creeper in here. Huh. Gonna have to fix the lighting. But, um, yeah. Oh. Oh, that door down there open. And, anyway. I hope you liked it and I hope you... I hope you pick it because it took a while to build and I am very proud of it. So I am like nobody or which nobody Lachlan MCWB's submission for his zombie survival fortress. And hello creeper. I love you. Would you like a hug? No, okay. Well you you really want a hug, don't you? Don't you? Okay. We'll go fine, be that way. Um <laughs> We'll see you later, Lachlan. Hope you liked it. Bye.